Welcome to fourth episode of our vlog. Today we will learn together how looks like professional live TV broadcasting. We are today in Zabja in the Church of St. Joseph. The Polish public broadcaster will record the Holy Mass today. We will focus on the technical aspects. Outside the church, we see service and broadcasting cars. All this was needed to transport the equipment and broadcast a signal during it. There is a parking lot here every day, the elderly and people from further afield can park their cars here. There was less parking today. On the right we see Arena Zabja. Also known from our blog. The stadium where Gornik Zabja plays matches. We'll go inside now. We have about 45 minutes to start. We can prepare recordings and not disturb them. Holy Mass will start at 1 p.m. The crew has been here since about 8 a.m. On the right, we see the jib camera. It will play a very important role. Let's pay attention to the mounted wheels. Central view. There will be another camera on the left. All the most important equipment seems to be located here. We saw the transmitting car outside. We don't know, but probably only this part of the work was done there. We can also see previews of what is being recorded here. Very important during TV broadcasting. This can also be a lesson to check. Going further, we see that good light is of course still needed to produce a professional TV signal. One more look at the jib camera. In the front, a camera on a tripod, also with wheels mounted. In such temporary transmissions, it is a better solution than a tracking camera, it does not require mounting tracks. Also, pay attention to the microphones. Final preparations were also underway from the side of the organization of the ceremony. One of the reasons for the broadcast was the visit of the newly appointed bishop. Accompanied by the rector, he has already appeared on the spot. We pull the camera down. The last settings. In the next part of the video, we will focus on the work of the cameras, and above all, the jib camera. This camera was marked as camera number one. It was the most versatile camera. It showed some important shots, but was also responsible for showing, for example, close-ups of the church architecture. Here we see our camera number one in the lead role. It currently shows a close-up of the bishop. The camera turns side. Now it will show the further way. The camera was able to show footage very close to the heads. This required great care. Let's see what the front camera does. We're back to number one. It is very low, almost invisible to us. It's closer to the middle now. Thanks to this, it can record shots closer to the left side as well. We're nearing the end. This is a good opportunity to show the role of the camera on the left. 
we finish spying on a professional TV crew. Making such a live broadcast requires four to six cameras. Depending on how many and what additional shots we need. This was not visible in our video, but you can add a camera from the outside. Drone camera and a camera on the balcony aimed at the organist. Now it remains to clean up the equipment. This operation will take between 30 and 60 minutes and is much faster than preparation. Thank you for today. Please remember to subscribe to our social media, newsletter, and our channel. Please forgive us for our beginnings. We will be improving our vlog with each episode.